All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to replace or repair the fans on this Acer Predator Helios uh, 300 model N20C3 or the full model number PH315-53-72XD. If you're trying to figure out how to remove the bottom cover, I have a separate video showing how to do that. Um, so if you need that, just let me know. It's one of my shorts. Um, I found a quicker, easier way to do it thanks to a viewer, all right? And then if you wanna know all the other components, I have another video for that as well. Anyways, to remove the fans, we're gonna be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. If you wanna be extra safe, you can disconnect the battery here. So there's the wings, just wiggle that like that. After you do that, open up the laptop, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. All right, some people ask me if this is required or necessary. It's only 15 seconds, just take that time because if you don't, there's a very good chance you can fry your whole computer. So yeah, why not take those extra 15 seconds? All right, so there we go. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna unplug the fans. Let me see if I can show more of a close up here. Okay, so there's this little rubber thing that it's kind of just falling off. Um, you can set that aside. Uh, anyways, what you do, um, the antennas are kind of in the way, but basically you grab the wings of this connector and you just kind of wiggle it as you pull, just like that, and eventually it pops out as you saw. Okay, so this fan is bad. As you can see, if I spin it, you see how quickly it stops? This fan is okay. This is the CPU fan. Um, but basically what we're gonna do, uh, you actually can remove this metal plate without taking everything else out first which actually makes doing this a little bit easier. So I'm gonna to switch to a PH0, JS0 screwdriver, and we're gonna remove the four little screws on the corners here, okay? So remove those four. Okay, and then once we remove those four screws, we'll be able to pop this open. So I actually already pulled the fan out just to test this. Normally I don't do that because it's every computer is like a new computer to me, and, um, yeah, I don't really do any in advance like prepping. But anyways, we can also take out these two screws here. <clears throat> okay, so after you get those two screws out, this plate, this metal plate, you can lift it up, but this adhesive will get in the way. So you do have to peel this adhesive back. Okay, once you peel that adhesive back, you can go ahead and peel this up. Okay, the two screws you didn't have to remove yet, um, but then you can go ahead and lift this back. There's a whole bunch of like fur here, I don't know, from cats or dogs or bunnies, rabbits, could be from anything, but um, the customer had a whole bunch of fur stuck in here. I tried using an air blower to clean it out and there was still a whole bunch like lint. I had to use some tweezers, just pick that out. And then after I did that, I kind of just brushed it and then you can use like an air blower to clean that out. I just use an electric one. I don't like using those cans because it makes things really cold and it can cause condensation. All right, anyways, we're just gonna fold, like hold this back. I don't wanna like peel this up or make a crease in there. So I'm holding that up. Then we're gonna lift this. There's a raised mount here. So you do have to lift this somewhat high to get past over this, okay? All right. Now, as you can see, this doesn't spin very well. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add grease to this. Um, you can use any kind of grease designed for moving parts, all right, bearings, whatever. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna go towards the center here because these blades you can see are kind of flimsy, they bend. So what you wanna do is you go towards the center of the fan on both sides, be careful not to break these little wires and you just go on either side and just push straight through. After you do that, you can see how the propeller blades are coming up, okay? If you let go, it kind of goes back down. So if you kind of want to hold it up, and then after you kind of have it out, you can kind of go ahead and grab this and pull it the rest of the way out. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to add some grease in here, and we also want to kind of clean that out. So what I like to do is I like to just get some paper towel here, okay? And we're just going to kind of grab here. Be careful, again, these metal propellers are kind of flimsy and you can bend them. So you want to be very careful. Okay. So I'll clean that. You can see how it left some kind of like dark brownish grayish stuff. Okay. We can't really get into the little groove here, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get oil, drop it into there, spin the fan around and then repeat the process until it's clean. Um, and I'm just using some a 5W30 Mobile One Synthetic Oil. The reason I'm using this is not because it's better than other stuff. The reason I'm using this is because I used to have a car that used this oil. Now I don't, now I have no use for this oil. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna tip the oil bottle over and we're just gonna go ahead and 
use a little um, kind of pointy thing just to get oil on it. You can use any object you want. You can use a bent folded out paper clip. That works fine. Okay, so basically we're just getting some oil on there. Okay, I drip, put the drop into the center. You should see a very noticeable change immediately. So once we do that, you see that? It's already spinning way better. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna pop it out again. Okay, pop it out again. Oh, come on. I need a tool that can just push through the thing. That also like kind of, these edges here are sharp, okay? Anyways, we're gonna wipe this again. We're gonna see what color it is. If it's like just the yellow of the oil, we're okay. You can see how it's pretty much just the yellow of the oil. So we're gonna clean this out. Usually what happens is uh, dust, dander, smoke, humidity, when the fan spins kind of over time gets into there. And then the grease that's there um, no longer uh, lubricates well and some people are telling me it's there's no grease that it's just fit floating there but I don't know every time I add grease to these it fixes the problem I've had a lot of people with these kind of fan issues okay so we put another drop of oil in there we're gonna go ahead and put this back on and you can see how nicely it spins all right let me see because I didn't take out the other fan if that one has a bunch of dust in it we're gonna at least clean it up we don't need to replace um, or repair that fan but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see if we need to clean it up. So we're gonna get the fan. We're gonna go ahead and drop it back into place, okay? Line it up properly. And then because this adhesive was in the way, make sure to pull that back and then let that drop in, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put these screws back into place. Again, using the PH0, JS0 screwdriver, okay? Or actually, let's go ahead and put the PH1, JS1 screws first because we already have that screwdriver bit in. So we'll get this and this one. Okay, I'm not sure why they have that pink little rubber thing there. It doesn't really do anything, honestly. You don't need to put it back, but if you want, you can go ahead and do that. So this thing just lined it up in the little white square. Okay, and yeah, and it just sits in there. Honestly, again, it doesn't really do anything. I might have to get some double-sided adhesive to make it stick down but then line this connector up and then I like to pinch both sides together so that way it's like just goes straight into place, okay? Yeah, this thing's just gonna fall out so I'm gonna need some double-sided adhesive here. Okay, let me grab some and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Now we just need to get some that's about the same thickness, probably this one, okay? And we're just gonna get a piece of that stick it on. This, again, this little pink thing doesn't really do anything, honestly. I'm not sure why they put it there. And, I don't know, it just fell off. So, let's see, is that too big? Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, we're just going to cut a piece of this adhesive, and hopefully it will stick on okay. Alright, double-sided adhesive here. Gonna stick this on the bottom. Okay, just stick that on there and then peel off the other piece. If you're putting it back, you can see how this one's a little bit wider because that's where the fan wire used to go. So I'm just gonna line it up, put it in exactly the same spot. Okay, it's nice they put that little white rectangle there so you kind of know where exactly it was okay stick that down you can see now it's staying in place and then this piece just goes in there perfect okay let's go ahead and put the ph0 js0 screws back in you can see the fan spins nicely now all right and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the other side you can go ahead and stick down this adhesive as well um, it's probably not going to stick very well but uh if you can try and stick it back down that helps a little bit with the airflow because it helps guide the air directly out of the holes and doesn't blow it back into the bottom of the computer. Okay, so that's why they have that adhesive there. You can use any adhesive, honestly. You don't have to use any special kind. Some people are worried that it's gonna like melt or something. I mean, it will get hot and then it'll kind of, the adhesive will, like most tapes, when the adhesive degrades, it kind of just gets to where you can't peel it off easily. 
Um, so it's not really an issue. Most of the heat goes into this blue thermal, the heat pipe here. Usually it's copper. I don't know why it's blue, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the CPU fan side if it has the same, I mean, the dust issue. This one has a bigger hole here, so it was easier for me to use the air blower to kind of blow the dust out. So I kind of have a feeling that it's not going to have that big of a problem. Possibly this side might, but I kind of doubt it. All right, anyways, on this one, we're just gonna lift out the, or lift up the metal cover just to see underneath how dusty it is because it spins just fine. I'm not 100% sure if this fan can be repaired the same way. Sometimes it has like a little thing in it that makes it really hard to, um, it looks like somebody might've peeled this up before. I didn't actually peel this one up before, but let's go ahead and peel it up and see. Okay, we're just getting it so it's no longer on top of that metal plate. And there we go. Oh, nope, look at that. Okay, so there was a huge chunk of dust there. You. So good thing we did open that. That will help keep the computer from overheating. Technically, if they want to improve the performance of their computer, they can probably reapply thermal paste or something. Um, but yeah, okay. This one, let's see if I can, oh yeah, you can just pull it straight up. The plastic fins are a lot uh, more durable. Um, and you can actually see that there is grease there. So whoever said it just floats and doesn't use grease, yeah, they're wrong. <laughs> All right, anyways, this fan is perfectly fine, as you can see. All right, I'm gonna pull this adhesive out of the way. And actually, let's go ahead and brush it a little bit to make it cleaner, since we have access to this. And this side as well. Okay. And again, we do want to peel this back. Oops, I think I accidentally taped it onto itself. Okay, so there, hold that adhesive back out of the way, drop that down, and then we can stick that down, but nothing's happening. Okay, there we go, kind of push it down a bit. All right, we're just going to put this back on. Again, if you do need to replace the fan, there's just two more screws here. And then you'd have to take that fan out. All right. But again, you do want to take this plate out. Usually the replacement fan isn't going to come with that metal plate. If it does come with the metal plate, you can either remove the, uh, the metal plate on the new fan and just swap it like this. Or you'd have to peel all the adhesive out here, which um, I'd rather not do. So yeah, better option is to just leave the metal plate on. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living, all right? Uh, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, I do have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More, which is the same but just my review uh, videos. All right, same profile picture uh, but more zoomed in. And yeah, because basically I'm taking a closer look at stuff. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you want other videos showing other th parts of this, I do have other videos for that. Um, but I figured since I had these specific issues with this model, I figured I'd show it. Um, if you want to redo the thermal pace, usually if the fan was bad to the point where your computer was shutting off, you really want to reapply thermal paste because that means the paste is not transferring heat properly. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this bike.